I'll start with your new G minor scale. Um, B flat we need to use, and then the two black keys over that um, gap of two white keys, sometimes nickname it a bridge. All right, E flat and F sharp. So B flat, E flat and F sharp. Fingering, standard fingering. The chord has got the B flat in it, so we need to use that. G, B flat, and D. There's two white notes. Okay, the left hand, although it is a black key, it is the fourth finger because the distance there is not any bigger than when you do C major or G major where you use the four, it's exactly the same distance. All right, in fact, it's slightly smaller. So the four, if you put the three, you're putting a bit of a stretch on that finger then. So the four fits under the B flat for this one. There's two white notes out to get to the D. There you go, all right. Your dozen a day, you're doing climbing, okay? So it starts off fairly straightforward with three and thumb, C and E, and you're just moving along one note with thumb and three to come back down again. Okay, now the next section is four notes, semiquavers, so they should go faster really. Um, and they're a little bit more tricky because you're not just going up one note, you are going up one note, but you've got to miss a note out between that um, move. So make sure there's a key between slightly more difficult and make sure you go to the D and the F to come down again four and thumb and again although it's moving down one key you've got to miss a note out between the thumb and the next note each time I haven't gone too far let's do that again The triplets can go along at fairly sort of ambling space at speed, but the semiquavers will need to go that little bit quicker to try and keep the beat the same. Okay, so your challenge will definitely be that second half. 